Rampage. So Rampage stars Dwayne The Rock Johnson. He teams up again with the San Andreas director. The movie's based off the classic arcade game of the same name, and Dwayne Johnson plays Davis, a primatologist who mainly handles the care of one ape in particular, George. George is a very intelligent albino ape who has learned sign language and has a bit of a special relationship with Dwayne's character. All that doesn't last very long when a secret little formula crash lands on Earth, mainly in the wildlife enclosure exposed Exposing George, a wolf, and an alligator. Some genetic mutation later, you have a couple of giant creatures out to destroy a city, and your only hope is the rock. And that's all I'll pretty much say without giving any spoilers to you guys. This is a spoiler-free review. I'm just gonna tell you what I liked about the film, what I didn't like, hit you with a rating system just like this one, breaking down the elements of the film and giving you a final ranking. So 100% honestly, with coming into Rampage, I honestly thought from the trailers and when I first heard about this film it was gonna be complete garbage that it, I was not gonna like it at all another failure for the video game franchise but of course you have The Rock whose career has been up and coming for the longest time has been making some great decisions here and there and has upcoming projects that really interest me I'm willing to give it the benefit of the doubt I went in with an open mind even though the trailers did not impress me I did not think I was gonna like it so starting off with the positives of this film I honestly have a ton of respect for Dwayne Johnson and what he's able to do with his career and the steps he's taken in his life, he's gone very far and is someone who's very inspirational. Just the busiest man in Hollywood right now and the ambition that he puts into all his projects, just very admirable. And on that level alone, I can appreciate what The Rock is trying to do with films like Rampage. He's really trying to be different. He's not trying to start up another superhero movie. He's not trying to beat a dead horse and revive some old franchise. No, he's willing to take a risk and say, video game movies suck. I'm gonna try and change that. I have a great idea. Let's do it. And his character, Davis, is no different than any other characters. It's a charming man. It's Dwayne The Rock Johnson. His smile lights up a room. Of course, he's gotten amazing with his comedic timing and his his relationship with George is awesome. George the Ape is a CGI character you're really gonna fall for. He's very friendly, very funny. His humor in this film, my kind of humor, really well done. I like the dynamic between the two. I can see why Davis was so hell-bent on making sure this creature makes it through this genetic mutation it's going through. And I was along for the ride also wanting George to survive. And of course, Jeffrey D. Morgan in this film, just awesome as this southern cowboy FBI or whatever agent he is. Not very much explaining there. Chemistry between him and The Rock, awesome. I would watch a film with just these two guys as the lead. They had great chemistry, the little bickering back and forth. Anytime Jeffrey D. Morgan was on screen, I was just just excited to hear his little hillbilly sayings and metaphors. Great addition to the film. The action in the film, while the CGI was hit and miss for me, it's never a bad thing to see giant creatures fight one another. Not only that, but I'm also going to appreciate how this film wasn't trying to start up a franchise. This film is actually all wrapped up in one movie. This could honestly be the only one, and we wouldn't be left wondering what's left to happen after this movie. And it doesn't tease you with, this is what's going to happen in the next film. So I appreciate them not wanting to take that leap, not trying to just just set up for another film, not trying to be greedy about that and just focus on this movie. However, that's where my positives end for this film. Although I had a lot of enjoyment, it's a great blockbuster film to just sit down, turn your brain knowledge a bit down and enjoy the action and violence and The Rock's charming humor in front of you, it doesn't completely succeed as a film. Now, Naomi Harris is not a bad actress. If you saw her in Moonlight as the mother, you know this woman can act. But there was just something about her character I did not find appealing, I did not find fun, I did not find wanting to survive throughout the film. I wouldn't have mind if she died or lived at the end. I had no care whatsoever. And also her chemistry with The Rock, non-existent in my opinion. I know they weren't really trying to be a love interest, but I want them to at least be able to carry the film together and not just all on The Rock's shoulders, which I'm pretty sure he could handle. Another thing, the movie felt very stretched out and long to me. It runs close to almost five minutes away from being a two-hour film. And while I love how a good chunk of this film is action-packed, there were too many scenes of exposition, biology talk, genetic talk, just over explaining the plot. It's really trying to make you understand why these creatures got big, why they're attacking, why they're headed for a certain object. When honestly, we just would have accepted a bunch of creatures are in a city, they're attacking one another, and somehow we have to stop them. There was just a lot of convenience and one or two more MacGuffins in the film than I would have liked. The villains in the film completely useless, one non-threatening and one very dimensional character who is your typical business person that only cares about money, 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 and I could care less about how many people die. And the last thing I'm gonna say was the biggest negative is I was not too happy how the rock in this film is invincible. 
he went full on god mode in this film. Johnson's character in the film Davis survives not one but two plane crashes that were no way anyone would survive. But of course you forgive it because it's an action film and it's Dwayne Johnson and he can do anything. But even in the final act when he's on the main battlefield with these creatures a hundred times his size and he's walking under them and trying to fight them and take them down, it did get a little ridiculous and hard for me to believe and I had to stretch my disbelief of the film just a little too much for that. So that's just one thing that really bothered me during the final act. In the end, I'm gonna say I did have a lot of fun with this film. It was enjoyable, it made me laugh. The Rock can never do any wrong on screen when he puts his mind to it. I do hate how there were dramatic moments in this film and there were chances for The Rock to show his range that I know he's capable of but he failed to. He stayed as that tough guy. You would not see him cry. You will not see him shed a tear. He's gonna stay tough no matter what. And I just wish we could see a little of his dramatic side because it could have been useful in the film to elevate it and make me feel more emotional towards it. All right, for Rampage, I'm gonna give action three and a half stars. There were a lot of great action sequences, even a few slow motion moments that were pretty awesome. Most of them happened in the final act. Comedy in the film, I'm gonna give three stars. It was as funny as it needed to be. Dwayne and the ape were very funny together. And Jeffrey D. Morgan also had a couple good laughs. Drama in the film, I'm gonna give it two stars it's very cut and dry you know where this is headed and even at times where it did have the potential for the rock to show his dramatic chops it held that back because he's the tough guy horror in the film i'm gonna give half a star just because the wolf is actually pretty frightening in this film suspense in the film i'm also gonna give it two stars like i said there's not very many surprises in this film there are one or two oh moments where you're like wow i didn't see that coming but it's not enough to surprise you casual fans i'm gonna give it a b minus cinephiles i'm gonna give it a b minus and critically i'm going to give it a c minus in the end for rampage I'm going to allow you to see it in theaters. But that's honestly just my opinion on the film, guys. I love Dwayne Johnson. I'm excited for Skyscraper. I want to see what he'll do with that film. Let me know your thoughts if you got around to seeing the film, guys. Please make sure to leave a like, subscribe. I have a few more reviews coming out, so please stay tuned for that. But in the end, guys, I'm Chris. Take care.